Alrighty guys, welcome back to the shop today. Today we have a new tool. This is a hand impact tool that my father-in-law was so kind to loan me. I'm hoping that this is going to be the ticket to get these stubborn screws out on this bench vise that I'm going through right now. Um, it is a old Craftsman model. You can't get this particular item number anymore. 947634. You might be able to find it used on eBay. As you can see, it's an antique made in the USA. Um, you can tighten or loosen your hardware with it. I don't know why you'd want to tighten something with it, but it's probably for reverse thread application. Half inch drive comes with a couple of these extra bits. I don't know if this came with originally or if my father-in-law has just collected these over time. Half to three eighths. This is a little, uh, this holds all your different bits. We've got a big flat head here, Phillips, another torque, another flat head. So today we are going to try to get this rusty screw out of this vise. So let's go ahead and hook it up and give it a try. This one comes out okay. This guy right here though, this guy here is a real bugger. No. Oftentimes you're tempted to take an impact and use this in a situation like this but if you're not careful it'll cam out and it'll really bugger that screw up so my father-in-law loaned me that tool we're gonna give that a shot some of you may be wondering why it says tighten or loosen when you're pulling back on this collar and and get that on there basically you're pushing in and you're turning this and it changes the orientation of when you hit this with a hammer if it's going to go counterclockwise or if you switch it and now it goes clockwise now it's going clockwise as if it were tightening you probably wouldn't use one of these to tighten however if you had a reverse thread screw that might be an occasion where you would want that. Um, I can't think of really any situations where I would want to use this tool <laughs> uh, to tighten something in, but you might. You just pull back on the collar and you give this a twist and it will change the direction of the impact. Pull it back, twist it, pull it back, twist it, and that changes the orientation. And what the secret is too is when you have this on your screw, you just want to put it in the, the screw, the stubborn screw. Just apply gentle pressure and not a lot, just enough to keep the tool in place. And turn in the direction that you're trying, that you're going to remove the screw. If it's a regular screw, you're going to be turning this gently counterclockwise just so it takes up the slack in the tool. 
and then when you hit it with a hammer it'll start jarring that back. We've got our tool, we're going to stick our bit on there. We've got it set in the direction that we want it to go. And like I said, you just got to play with it. Twist it this way and that way until you get the setting right. You'll know because when you go to push it in, it'll turn in the direction that you want it to go. As you can see that it's doing there. So we're going to apply this. We're going to put that right there. Now what you do is when you get this in the spot you want, turn it gently to get that slack out. I'm just applying gentle pressure into the screw, not a whole lot, just gentle pressure and I'm giving it gentle counterclockwise and now I'm going to hit this bugger with a hammer and we're going to see what happens. Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah. See? She's coming out. That rusty little devil. She's coming out. We hit it with heat. We hit it with penetrating oil. We hit it with freeze off. None of those worked. But who knows how long this has been in my father in law's toolbox, this tool. And it did the job. How cool is that? Alrighty guys, if you don't have one of these in your toolbox, um, I recommend you get one for getting those stubborn screws out. Um, we applied heat today, we applied cold today, we applied um, penetrating oil today. Those three things um, didn't work, but this uh, hand impact tool, we prevailed with it. So if you don't have one of these, get one. I'll put some links uh, uh, down below in the description. They are affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra, but it does help support the channel. Um, I'm going to maybe review one or two of them if I don't just buy one of these used off of eBay. They don't sell this one anymore. They have a newer model, but um, it's kind of hard to get getting a hold of some of this Craftsman Sears products nowadays. Um, but uh, with that being said, I'll put a description down below for the vice rebuild I'm doing as well. Um, we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers right now so if you'd like to help us out with that and you're into this kind of shop tool, um, carpentry and metalworking, um, consider subscribing. You can do that right here as well as you can check out our last video right here and we'll see you on the next one.